It's over 43,000 square feet of fascinating Oklahoma history. Built in the 20s, the house still reflects a type of elegance and grandeur seldom seen these days. And the reaction to the mansion is always the same. When visitors first come through the front doors into the grand entry hall, wow. And almost universally, that, I think that word must be a universal language now, is wow. With style and class, the Marlin Mansion sees in any given year visitors from all 50 states and usually between 30 and 40 different foreign countries. In the last few years, more and more items belonging to the Marlins have been returned and are currently on display. Approximately 80% of the pieces are original, whereas the other 20% are pieces from that era. And along with all that history is a good dose of mystery. Well, the, uh, the mansion itself, the family, uh, some of the members, they, were, they all had their own mysteries. And because the mansion was built during Prohibition, alcohol and gambling were issues of the day. Mystery number one is right off one of the three kitchens. So what looks to be a pantry door really isn't. Exactly. What looks to be a pantry door, exactly right, is not. Remember, it's Prohibition days. Right. And so things like gambling and alcohol, um, well, let's just see. Okay. It's one of the smaller of the 55 rooms in the mansion and the only one that doesn't have any ventilation. This was the secret poker room and apparently high stakes gambling was the order of the day. Looking a bit like an English pub, you might notice there's no window here either. They didn't want any spectators. Another secret is not part of the regular tour, but it's connected to the poker room, and one can't help but think that the Marlins and their friends must have had an early version of what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. Well, I think what happened in this part of the estate stayed right here. It looks like a safe, but this never had any money in it. What was in it is a narrow, circular stairway, and up the circular stairway and directly above where we are right now was the hidden whiskey room. What looks like a cellar is in fact another hidden room and it's where they drank what would have been most likely bootleg Canadian whiskey. It was hidden away quite nicely. And in here there were probably quite large wood shelving, huge cases like the wood case you see over here with all sorts of uh, bottles of whiskey and different things that would have been stored in here. The temperature would have stayed mild all year long sure, through here, sure. so uh, the nice Canadian whiskey and different European whiskeys and, and liqueurs would have been uh, well kept in, in this particular area. And finally, there's the underground tunnel system beneath the estate lawns and under the gardens that connect pretty much all of the buildings. So this historic landmark certainly has its share of secrets, but the quality of the art, architecture, history, and beauty of the mansion are all things not to be kept secret, but to be shared with the world. In Ponca City, I'm Dino Lolly.